What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use VirtualBox or Oracle VM VirtualBox, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to show you how to run a virtual mach machine with it. So first of all, what you're going to need is ISO. I'm going to use Ubuntu Linux, which is free. You can get it off their website as an ISO. Or you can just get the installation CD and put that in and run it off of there. Or you can just get ISO from like some other websites. But I'm going to use Ubuntu for this demonstration. I'll include other demonstrations as well in some other videos. Okay, so first of all, I'll go ahead and start. Um, go ahead and start Oracle VM VirtualBox. Once it starts, you want to click New. All right, you're gonna click Next. Name what you want the OS, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna name it. Uh, let's see, my keyboard's messed up, so I'm gonna use this keyboard some, for some of it. So, you button to you button to alright, and then it's Linux and it's Ubuntu by default usually. And then go ahead and click next, and we're gonna select the RAM, how much RAM you want to use. So, I'm gonna keep on if it's on the red, that means it's too little. Ain't too much. Well, well, yeah. Anyways, I usually keep it to the default. So click next. Then you click boot hard disk, and you click. You want to have it as create new hard disk. Go ahead and click next. And then you're gonna click um this top one right here. No wait, yeah, VDI. Click next. And make sure you click dynamically a lot, unless I did. I don't know how to say that. And you select how many much memory you want it to. Also, the dynamic elasticity where I just did before I'm here, I was here. That is so you can chain it. Add, it adds um gigabytes or whatever you want to call it. It adds um storage at, if you run out automatically. So be, be sure not to overdo it. Cause then you'll run out of storage on your real computer. Go ahead and click next. Click create. Click create. Now that's you want to right there. Next what you want to do, um just go ahead and click start. Um then click start. Alright, so this is just telling you control click the right control and then yeah. That's just how you move on. So this is the first run expert. It's asking you to look for um the ISO or the install CD. I have an ISO because I got it from my website, so go ahead and click to a folder and look for the bunch of ISO. Click start. Alright, now it's gonna go, it's gonna be like a computer store thing when you install it. It's running. Also, if you control, you can switch between the computer and the the um thing, the virtual box or virtual machine, whatever you want to call it. Let this install. Taking a long time. All right, click OK. I'm gonna pause this one and resume it one. Alright, now it looks like it's done. Sorry, I had to pause it because it's taking too long. I don't want this video to be too long. But anyway, so now it's loading. Like Windows sort of does, but. Yeah. So you have your power, your volume, and whatnot up there. 
Yeah, you know, it has a loading cursor right where you can see the spinning thing. And basically what you do is you go through the installation like you would on any other computer. Just go ahead and install Ubuntu. Go ahead and um, do all that. It doesn't really matter. Just go through the basic process. I'm not really familiar with Ubuntu installation, so I used to be, but that was like when I was not old. Alright, so, anyways, you get the point, when you're done with it, you can do all, you, it basically makes it so you have a Ubuntu Linux on your computer, but still have Windows, um, Windows 7 or whatever you have as a real one. So thank you for watching this little tutorial, have a nice day, and rate, comment, subscribe.